In 2011, whilst the rain was teeming down on SW19, the Wimbledon centre court crowd was treated to an intriguing match between two tennis veterans. The 31-year-old American Venus Williams, recently returned from a five-month layoff, battled the 40-year-old Japanese Kimiko Date Krum in an extraordinary second-round match played under the roof. Williams started sluggishly and the unseeded Japanese raced to a 4-1 lead. The five-time former champion, however, battled back and she forced a first-set tie-break. It's just too good. One zero misses Nata Krum. It's funny, in every Wimbledon there is one match in which the championship comes alive. And this is it. This is breathtaking. Her 23rd winner. Between them, 36 winners in the match so far, 20 unforced errors. Six aces now. You straight away, she got under the ball, lifted it over the baseline. Date Crum had that huge lead, three set points, then let it go. Venus Williams gets the 6-5 lead. You think there's no way she's still in this set. It bounces back, that mental toughness still showing through at 40 years old. One of the best assets, along with her footwork, her speed. of the set and it's four more set points for Six Date Crum.
couple of inches. set points now. What an extraordinary set of tennis. 63 minutes they've been playing for. Six games all, six points all. The first challenge <laughs> of the match. Oh, it's a millimeter in. Oh, oh, now we really have had everything in this set. The ball seemed to hang in the air forever. Miss Williams has three challenges remaining. Set point number eight. The evergreen Date Crum combining baseline aggression with deafness at the net to take the first set in 64 minutes. Into the second, where the American former champion needed to stamp her authority. We join it at one game all. Date Crum talked about the difference she played on the tour before and now. Obviously, the height has changed. So many more of the women are taller more physically strong. One of the big reasons for her retirement, as she said, she always felt so far away from Japan. She was traveling, whereas now with the technology, it helps so much. There were no computers then, there were no, no mobile phones, Skype, you feel like you're in touch with your family. away we talked about she ran the marathon she also did television commentary she said it gave her a whole new perspective on the game every now and again throwing in the serve and volley giving Venus a different look we mentioned the fact that she's moving around her position when she's Receiving serve. Lens for service. Also doing that when she serves as well. Sometimes she'll serve further out from the hash mark to give herself more angle. Venus does that.
It. Wow, that's a big miss. I say that when you get an ad point, get that opportunity. You really need to close it out, and that was very makeable overhead. That's uh, on the end of the row there in the white is David Witt, who's the hitting partner of Venus Williams. Yeah, instead of being up to one and sitting down now, Dottie Crum facing a break point to be down to one. Could be a huge momentum changer. Phenomenal drop shot, and I don't remember her hitting so many drop shots in her first career. <laughs> but she cuts it so fine. Another successful serve and volley point. Fourth juice, longest game of the match in terms of juices. Williams finally starting to show some form. She held the advantage through the second set and broke the former Wimbledon semi-finalist a second time, taking the second 6-3 and levelling the match at one set apiece. Into the third and deciding set and Date Crum's fairy tale start was in danger of turning into a hazy memory as Williams broke in the second game. But the unseeded veteran broke back immediately to put a nerve-jangling third set back on serve. The ladies battled gamely on to reach six games all, where it became a question of who would crack first. Just remember that this woman is 40 years old, her opponent is 31. It's described in the programme as the Zimmer frame match. I think they've uh, put that remark firmly in its place. Fifteen love. Mile an hour serve. 
15 all. So quick. Shortest backswing possible and just the block. Three millimeters in that return. Her fastest serve of the day. 120, she hit a few of those. Serve Dante Crum continuing to stand well inside that baseline, strike it early. Rushing Venus Williams. was a chance for Dottie Crumb. It was 30 all, second serve, got into the rally. And that's so crucial. Once you're into the rally, you feel like, really, I've got to get this because a big serve might be coming the next point. One actually a little slower at 98 Williams. miles per hour, and she hit it early. Didn't come through the court as quickly as she thought. But then the 120 mile an hour again, and Kimiko just blocks it back. Amazing. She must have the sort of reactions of, of one of those Top Cat fighter pilots. Top Gun. Very quick with the hands in that first step. She had 0.68 of a second to react to that serve. The eyes are so crucial as well to pick it up. Oh. Advantage, Miss Williams. It was only 80 miles an hour. It was halfway up the box. That was a great opportunity. And they know it in there.
time. For a third time then, Dottie Crum serving to stay in the match, 6-7. feeling, Tracy, that those chances she had on those second serves in that last game might have been crucial. Love That's long. 30. And it's love 30. Oh no. Fifteen forty. After two hours and fifty five minutes, the five times champion has two match points. Deserving of their centre court standing ovation after a second round battle that lasted just shy of three hours. The crowd appreciative of their contribution to a contest which will live long in the memory. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, she came out and I just uh, couldn't seem to get a game. And she played so well. And before I knew it, the ball was past me every time in the first set. And coming so close to winning the first set was a little bit frustrating. And she just she just plays so well. Every ball hits the, the line on the baseline, and she played so aggressively. I, I just give her a lot of credit, and I'm glad to come through. Having not had that much tennis this year, do you feel that that's the kind of game that you really needed or one that you didn't need? Oh, I mean, obviously I'd prefer to win in straight sets with no breaks, but uh, against a player like her today, I mean, right into the end she was attacking, and even that last shot I thought I hit a great approach, and she almost hit a passing shot, so mm -hmm. that was the story of the match, but I'm really glad that I was able to serve well. I think that really got me through.